Bull Bubble Gang, I present to you a challenge. A challenge not many are willing to take, but a challenge that I will take today for you. Today, we'll be coding a C network server and client, and if I get any compilation errors at any point in the challenge, I have to delete my code and start over. Fuck. Also, bonus feature, I will not be using any outside resources. I will only be using the man pages included in Linux. So for example, if you do man7ip, you get a description here of how to create a TCP socket. That is the only resourcing I'll be using in this video. Let's buckle up. Could be here for a while. Okay, so basically we want to include standard io.h, main function set up in here, write out the things we have to do. We have to create our socket info structures, create our socket, find, we need to listen, accept, and then we need to do client stuff and then clean up. Step one, we need to create uh, our socket information. So we'll use the IP man page to figure that out. So we'll take all of these includes just to be safe to prevent any errors from pound includes. And then we will clean that up real quick. Boom. So we want to create a socket AFI net. So we want to use a TCP server. So it's gonna be a TCP socket. So we're going to do that, create our first socket. So int socket file descriptor is equal to socket AFI net sock stream, and then zero for TCP IP. And then we'll say if zero is greater than socket file descriptor, which means that it failed to create the socket, we'll p error on socket, and then we'll return negative one. Okay, so moment of truth, we're gonna start out with our first compilation of this. So let's make sure we have all the information needed to get this to compile. We have socket here, we have all of our headers created, main is set up properly, it's create the correct syntax. Okay, please God, GCC tech O server, server.c. Okay, getting sweaty over here, holy shit. Okay, so we have the server. We can run it, arguably nothing happens, and let's S trace it to make sure it actually creates a socket. Uh, let's see, socket, AFI net, sock stream, IP proto, three, which means it created a successful socket. Good to go. All right, the hard part is creating the bind successfully. So we need to call the bind syscall, and we're going to check that out using kind of the same thing here, man to bind. So let's add the additional pound include here for the bind syscall. So what does bind do? Give it a socket file descriptor and a sock adder struct and the adder len of that struct and call bind. So we wanna actually go back to the IP7 thing to look at the structure of the sock adder in. Yeah, so what we wanna do here is use this structure to define what the port and address is gonna be for our, our, our server that we're gonna create. So we're gonna to bind to port 1337 on localhost for this to work. So struct sock adder in, uh, which is gonna come for, or we're gonna call it server info, and we're gonna zeroize it with that. We're gonna say that server info dot sin family, sin family equals AFI net, we're gonna say server info dot sin port is equal to host to network short of one three three seven. Oh, it's man host to network short. Make sure that we have, yeah, see if I didn't include this, I got an error on the uh, host to network short piece. So let's include that as well. Okay, host to network short. And then we wanna, uh, the family or the address is already set to zero. So we're gonna bind to the, the multi or the all address uh, for our server. And we also need for the bind syscall, our adder len, so a sock len t that is the size of that structure there, right? Because that, that's how we tell the binds is called what type of sock adder we're doing. Okay, so we're gonna say that sock adder len server info len is equal to size of server info. Cool, so in theory, we can use all this info to call bind. So we're gonna say if zero is greater than bind and bind is called on SFD, we have to cast that address to a struct sock adder because that's what the man page says, right? It's not a sock, sock adder in, it's a sock adder. Uh, sock adder pointer, the address of server info, and then the adder lens, server info len. So proper bindings there. So if that fails, p error bind and return negative one. Okay, so the socket stuff was fine. Checking for any syntax errors here. Struct sock adder in, the name is this. Set it to zero. This is the family is equal to AFI net. The port is equal to host to network short 1337. Server info len, size of server info. Zero greater than bind on the socket file descriptor. Sock adder in, server info, server info len, PR bind return. Okay. Whew. 
Okay. All right, we're good. And let's make sure that it actually binds. Do s trace server bind was successful. Good. Zero means it works. So we're good to go there. Uh, next, we have to listen. Man, listen. File descriptor and the backlog. And the backlog is just an argument that says the maximum number. We can set it to zero and it says unlimited backlog, I believe, right? If zero is greater than listen on socket file descriptor zero, we'll say that listen failed and return negative one. Okay, so in theory, we should get a listen here. I don't wanna actually use the listen because that'll cause our socket to be in use and I don't wanna deal with setting the re reuse adder port or reuse adder. Next we use accept. This is another one of those complicated ones where we may get some issues. So accept is a bunch of arguments, the socket file descriptor, a place to write the address of the incoming connection and a place to write the address length. So we'll have to steal this type again and then we'll say struct sock adder client info is equal to zero and we'll say that sock len t client info len this is where it gets i always get confused is it the length to be written or is the length also set to the length of the structure adder len argument is a value result argument the caller must initialize it to contain the signs of bytes of the structure to point to by adder on return it will contain the actual size okay so it has to be set just like before to the actual structure size so size of client info cool so now on accept it's socket adder adder len flags what are flags flags zero is the same okay so yeah we're going to use uh zero for flags so if so actually it'll it'll return a client file descriptor so client file descriptor is equal to accept on socket file descriptor the address of client info the address of sock or no client info len and zero and then if zero is greater than the client file descriptor we will say Pierre accept return negative one. Okay, should be good here. Let me do a little syntax check. New variable CFD accept from SFD client info client info len zero. If zero is greater than client FD, there's an error on accept. And then listen is also good. Checking the parentheses. All right, looking good. Let's do it. Fuck. Too many arguments to function except. Oh, except for, dude, no. You know what that means. All of our code, start over. Standard at H. Server info, set the family. Set the port. Client info, server info, size of server info. Okay, now we need to put all these types. Create the socket. If zero is greater than SFD, ew. P error, turn negative one. Bind. If zero is greater than bind, SFD len. If zero is greater than listen on SFD of zero. Okay, accept round two, let's do it. If int CFD is equal to accept, on SFD, the address of client info, the address of client info, no flags, if zero is greater than CFD, be error, accept, return negative one. Okay, I cannot afford to mess this up. So we wrote, rewrote it all, let's check it out. Socket, AFI net, sock stream zero, SFD. If zero is greater than SFD, P error, socket return. If zero is greater than bind on SFD, the struct sock adder pointer of the address of server info, server info len. That gets written, that gets read. Listen FD zero, if that fails, listen. CFD is equal to accept on SFD, that's correct. Client info len is also correct. Zero greater than FD, accept return negative one. All right, say your prayers. <laughs> Just sweat, dude. Okay. Now's the easy part. We just do do server stuff. So we are going to, the server is going to say hello world to the client. Keras pointer hello is equal to hello world. New line. 
and we are going to send, let's actually man send real quick, socket, buffer, len, flags, then it's a size T. Sent is equal to send. Uh, we're gonna send it to the client, uh, the hello world buffer, and we're gonna send it stir len of hello, no flags. Okay, here's where I can get lazy and make a lot of mistakes and waste a lot of my time. So let's make sure we do this right. Socket, void star buffer. We're gonna cast that to a void star real quick for the compiler, just not be mad. Void star, size t len. What is this? Stir len return, size t, yeah. And then flags, flags can be zero. Yeah, I don't want any of this, okay. So we're good, so we sent it and then we're going to close CFD. Oh, man close, don't mess that up. Also man send, I didn't look at the uh, the include for that. Oh shit. Man send uh, types and socket. Okay, we're good. All right guys, this is the end of the server if we get this right. Let's make sure we got it, okay? Here we go. GCC, don't fail me now. Warning, hold on. That was our previous error. Whew, warnings are not errors. Thank God, that was, oh, my heartbeat is racing right now. Let's make sure we include this uh, string.h library real quick. Our header file. No warnings, no errors. Good, and we can in theory run this. We'll s trace it. Okay, we are waiting for the accept, and then we can get out of here. Okay, now if we netcat to localhost on port 1337, we get hello world, and then it exits the program. Perfect, okay. Part one complete, let's move on to the client. Same thing, if I get the client wrong, I have to start all over. Okay, same as before. Include, standard edit h, int main. Good. We're gonna take all of the includes from the previous file, and we're going to steal these, because if we have to use the same functions, the same header files will get created. Okay, so to connect to a server, create uh, server info, create socket, connect to server with socket, do client stuff, clean up. Okay, sweet. Struct sock adder in. Then we need to server info dot sin family is equal to af inet. Server info dot sin adder. We have to set this this time dot s adder because that comes from the man seven ip. Is s adder? Yep. Uh, it's equal to host to network long of hex 7f000001. So that's gonna be localhost, the uh, IP address. Let's make sure I have that linked in. Host to network long, ARPA inet, good, perfect. And then server info dot sin port is equal to host to network short of 1337. Int socket file descriptor is equal to socket, same as before. AF inet sock stream zero. If zero is greater than SFD, Pierre socket turn negative one. Good. Now we have to connect. So we have not used the connect syscall yet. Man connect. Connect. We also need a sock len adder len. So we'll do that real quick. We'll do sock len t SFD len is equal to size of server info. We're not gonna call it SFD len, we're gonna call it server info len. Connect takes a socket, the connect address, and the length, perfect, that's easy. And we have the types included. If zero is greater than connect, which took SFD, the casted pointer of a sock adder, pointer of the address of sock, or no, 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 of server info, and then server info len, say p error sock or connect and then return negative one okay we're gonna try to compile real quick and hopefully we're good to go let's see what we get into so i have all these includes i have main created properly i created the sock adder in for the server info set it up to be an af inet to localhost and port 1337 server info len is equal to the size of server info socket af inet at zero if zero is greater than connect on sfd sock adder pointer to server info server info len connect return Okay, here we go. GCC, taco, client, client.c. Oh my god. Okay. All right, let's do it up. Do client stuff. So let's create a buffer. Uh, let's call it 1024. We'll say size t 
received is equal to received from SFD buffer right, to buffer. Bad programming, don't copy me. And then we're gonna print uh, that buffer to the screen. Close socket file descriptor and return zero. Do all the clean up here. All right, here we go. So let's make sure we did this right. Oh, did I did I include for receive? Type socket, good. Okay, care buffer, buffer 1024 minus one. Ooh, how many arguments could I receive? Yo, I almost made a grave mistake. Look at this, socket file descriptor buff len flags. It's different for send than it is for receive. That is nonsense. Okay, so flags can be null, right? We're gonna do null. Ooh, is it null or zero? Hold on, it's int, so we're gonna, we're gonna put zero. I don't wanna confuse the compiler. Zero for flags. This is bad code, I know, ignore, ignore this. I'll, I'll put a toto in there for you guys to do make code good okay oh jesus christ thank god okay server client we did it Woo! oh wait there's actually a bug oh because i padded it out to uh 1024 that's actually the wrong thing to do. Yeah, so it by default printed a bunch of shit to the screen that it shouldn't have. Anyway, it worked. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, do me a favor, hit like, hit subscribe, and go watch this video on pointers if you had no idea what the fuck just happened.